video is a compilation of my three most insane mob battles. Enjoy! Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But there's massive roulette wheels. This means whatever color you shoot on the roulette wheel is what color of mob that spawns in. But little does Smirky know that behind my roulette wheel is a cheat sheet. This means I'll be able to count to exactly what colors he chooses. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cordy, and I'm totally gonna choose way better colors than you. We will see about that, Smirky, but let the battle officially begin. And now that the mob battle has officially begun, we have this massive one-way glass wall here. This means I'll be able to see which color Smirky's gonna shoot on that roulette wheel. And then, of course, I'm gonna go behind my roulette wheel, look at the cheat sheet, and pick the exact counter to his mob. So, it looks like Smirky's holding his bow, but what color? on the roulette wheel is he planning to shoot and wait a second look it looks like smirky's aiming up at that yellow or orange on the roulette wheel wait that makes a lot of sense since smirky's two favorite colors are yellow and orange well i wonder which one that's gonna land on and let's see and it looks like it landed on the yellow one and look at that it turned to gray right when he hit it and wait a second it literally spotted a muted blaze next to smirky and that is super crazy since he chose the yellow on the roulette wheel it spotted a yellow mob and that yellow mob happens to be the fiery muted blaze. And look, Smirky got the spotting and is spotting it a ton more. Well, muted blazes are very powerful and normally I don't know how on earth I'd counter these guys. But luckily, like I said earlier, behind our giant roulette wheel is actually the cheat sheet. And if we look at this cheat sheet, I'll tell you how to read this thing. So since Smirky chose yellow and there's this arrow next to the yellow, whatever's on the left of the arrow is actually the exact counter. So if I read this correctly, since Smirky chose the yellow, that means I have to choose the light blue and that will be the exact counter mob. And that actually kind of makes sense. Since Smirky's yellow blazes are made out of fire and this cheat sheet tells me to choose the blue color, that means that I'm probably gonna get a water mob that will literally put out the fire of Smirky's blazes. So let me just grab my bow and let's go over to the shooting place. And then I'm just gonna go up here and aim at the blue. And then I'm just gonna let this go and hopefully this hits. And yes, I think it hit because look at that. It just turned to green. Gray. Now we can go up to this chest and open this thing and let's see what's inside and oh my gosh There's a bunch of water stuff in here So it looks like we got entrails and then we even got the spawn egg called man of water I think that's gonna be a crazy water mob and we also got some water buckets And the reason I think it gave us all these water buckets is because it wants us to put a giant water pool on our side So let me do that. I just dug out this really big hole and now let's go fill this with water And boom, it's all filled with water now and now we can actually start to spawn in our super cool light blue mobs. And the first mob we got is the Entral. So let's spawn this in and see what it is. And wait a second. This is the Ocean God mob. Look at this thing. It is so cool. And as you can see, there's even a trident on its head. This thing has the powers to manipulate water and he is super duper OP. This guy's actually going to be the perfect counter for these blazes. But wait, I also have the man of water spawn egg. Wait, let's see what this guy is. And wait a second. That's exactly what the name is. It's just a man-made out of water. Okay, this is definitely, definitely the perfect counter for Smirky's mobs. These guys are made out of fire, and this guy is just made out of water. And since we have this massive pool, I guess let's just spawn a bunch of these man of water in this pool. And look, we got an entire army of these guys, and now let's just spawn some of these end troll monsters. And oh my gosh, this is the craziest water army I've ever seen in my life. If Smirky's blazes even last for more than a minute, I would honestly be surprised, because they're going to be put out immediately. And um, Smirky, how How's your mob army going this round? My mob army is going super duper good, Cardi. I got some really good mobs. Wow, that sounds really cool, Smirky. But what color on the wheel did you choose? Can you please tell me? Well, Cardi, let me tell you. It is a fire mob, but you're never going to guess what fire mob it was. Wait, so you chose a fire mob? That probably means you chose yellow on the roulette wheel. Uh, yeah, it does. But you are never, ever, ever going to guess what yellow mob it was. Smirky, it was probably a muted blaze or something. That's the only yellow mob I could think of. Really, Cardi? That's the only yellow 
Mott, it's such a popular color. Ah, uh, Smirky, I guess it's just a lucky guess. Wait, am I actually right? Yes, you are. I can't believe it. Well, I have a bunch of water mobs, so that means your blazes are going to be put out of fire immediately. That means I'm definitely going to win. Oh, no, that's not good. Well, hopefully my blazes will boil your water. Well, we're going to see if that's actually going to happen. Smirky, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. All right, then, let's go. And let's go. And you are totally going to be defeated, Cardi. Are you sure, Smirky? You guys look at my water bombs. They're destroying your blazes. Uh, aren't they destroying my blazes? Because not a single blaze has died. Ah, uh, Smirky, literally look at your blazes. They're drowning in the water right now. Wait, you might be right about that. Oh, my gosh. There's so many water attacks everywhere. There's like a ton of water particles. And uh-oh, I think your blazes are starting to die. Wait, you're right about that. Look at it. There are so many blaze rounds all along the floor. And it's like raining blaze rounds. Oh, my gosh. Did I already win? Did you already win? Your guys were literally jumping in celebration. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that, Smirk. Yeah, look around the entire arena. It's just a bunch of blaze rounds in fire. And I think all of your blazes died. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Okay, hopefully I pick a way better mob on the roulette wheel next time. Yeah, you better, Smirky, because this is only just getting started and the mobs are gonna get even crazier, so let's reset the arena. And there we go, I just won the first round. And remember, guys, we are going to win all the rest of these rounds because of my cheat sheet behind my roulette wheel. But anyways, let's just start off by cheating with this one-way glass wall and seeing what Smirky's gonna shoot. And wait, what is he aiming at? It looks like he's holding his bow and he's looking up at the blue or the purple one so i guess let's just see which one he's gonna shoot it looks like he shot the blue one because look it just went gray and wait a second i wonder what kind of blue mob is gonna spot in and look at this that actually worked and it looks like it spotted a bunch of blue and snowy mobs okay that is actually pretty cool i just look at these guys this guy's literally made out of a bunch of blue ice and that snow is made out of white snow and this giant warrior is made out of white snow snow too and he even has giant blue weapons and that is actually pretty cool and even though that snowman isn't blue i think he has an attack where he throws blue eyes so i guess he technically counts as a blue mob and now all of these mobs are really cool but remember guys we can actually look at the back of our roulette wheel and we'll figure out how to counter these guys exactly so let's go back here and look for the blue color and it looks like blue is right there so what's on the left of blue it looks like red is on the left of blue so that means we're gonna have to shoot the red on this roulette wheel, and that should spot in the exact counter of those snow mobs. And wait, that actually does make a lot of sense, since those snow mobs are made out of snow and ice. If I get a red mob that has a bunch of fire attacks, it should melt those guys. So let's just head over to our roulette wheel and go down here with our bow. Now, which one did we have to shoot again? I think it was the red one. So let's aim our bow at the red, because we cannot miss this. If we miss this, we're not gonna have the exact counter, so okay, let me just shoot this. Right right now. And let's go. I just hit it. It all turned gray. So now let's go to our chest and see what we got. So let's open this chest and it looks like we got a Ignis mob, a netherite monstrosity mob, and a fire dragon. Wait, these are all fire mobs, I think. Wait, let's spot in this fire dragon first. And what does this look like? And oh my gosh, it's exactly what I thought it was. It's a fire dragon. It's literally red. Wait, let's spot in a bunch more of these guys. And look, they're all different sizes and different colors. We we even have super tiny little green dragons. Well, these guys are probably going to be super duper OP and they should definitely melt all these snow creatures. And look at them fly. They're literally majestic when they fly. Okay, we have to spot in our other two mobs though. So we have the netherite monstrosity and oh my gosh. Everyone knows the netherite monstrosity. It's super cool. It's made out of netherite and it has crazy fire lava attacks because it's from the nether. And then last but not least, we have the ignis mob and this is one of my favorite mobs ever. It is also a nether mob, and it is made out of nether bricks, fire, and a bunch of cool other stuff. And this guy has some of the craziest fire attacks out of all these mobs, but I mean, all of these mobs are fire mobs, so it should be all pretty OP. And anyway, Smokey, how is your army going? Because I think you're definitely
definitely gonna lose. I'm definitely gonna lose, Cardi. You're definitely gonna lose. Wait, why do you think I'm gonna lose, Smirky? Do you even know what mobs I have? I have no idea what mobs you have, but I know I have the better ones. Ah, uh, okay, Smirky. Let me take a guess at what color you shot on the roulette wheel. And I bet you shot the blue one. Uh, how do you know? What? Well, Smirky, it's just a lucky guess, and I actually shot the red one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And anyway, Smirky, are you ready to drop the walls? Because I think our mobs are fighting. Yes, I'm ready to drop the walls. Then let's go and look at our mobs fighting. What kind of mobs did you spawn in? Smirky, I have a bunch of red mobs from the red color on the roulette wheel, and I think they're killing all of your snowy and ice mobs super fast. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. These mobs are actually the perfect counters. Since your mobs are made out of snow and ice, and mine are made out of fire, I think they're destroying your mobs completely. What? So I thought my mobs were super duper strong, but you have fire dragons, you have a fire knight, and a fire netherite monster? Yes, I do, Smirky. And look at all of the fire that my mobs are spotting it everywhere. This is actually so crazy because all your mobs are just burning to death. I know it's crazy. It's insane. Look at the top of the screen too. My netherite monstrosity and my ignis mob have barely taken any damage. I can't believe it. Okay, my snowman need to do more damage. Come on, you guys are actually doing damage. Ah, uh, Smirky, no, they're not. They're the ones taking damage because they're getting obliterated by my netherite monstrosity. He's just crushing the floor. Wait, I think it's about to kill two of them any second now. Well, Smirky, I think two of your mobs have died and the last one just died and do you have any mobs left? Oh, yeah, you have this tiny little snow golem. Yeah, he's gonna survive. Just watch that. Uh, Smirky, are you sure about that? Because look at my guy shooting lava at it and it's dead, Smirky. He literally dropped his snowballs on the ground and now they're gone. Yeah, they just got burnt. This is bad for you and that means I just want the second round. Sorry, ready to move on to the third round? Yes, I am, Cardi. Let's go. And there we go. I just won another round and I am super excited to move on to these next rounds. And anyways, let's just jump straight into this next one. And what color is Smirky gonna shoot? And it looks like he's holding some sort of crossbow and it looks like he might be looking towards the pink color. And that means when he shoots the pink, it should turn gray and spawn in a crazy pink mob. So let's see. And he shot it. And wait, I think the wheel just turned to gray. And look at these mobs. It looks like it spotted two different pink mobs, and this one's a mutant hoglin, and that one is a giant Fluto Queen mob, and look at that. That one is super big, and the mutant hoglin is also kind of pink. Both of these mobs are super duper OP, though, so this is pretty bad for me. Well, it would be bad for me if I didn't have my cheat sheets. Let's go take a look at that and find the pink on here, and it looks like pink is right here, and if we look to the left of pink, it looks like we're gonna need to choose the purple color, and I wonder what why that is, I mean, that pink did spawn in, like, some alien mutant mobs for Smirky, but what kind of mobs is purple gonna spawn in? Like, maybe some crazy cosmic space mob or something like that? But I guess we're just gonna have to see. So let me grab myself a bow and let's just go up to where we're gonna shoot this thing and let's aim towards purple. And I'm really hoping that there's gonna be crazy stuff with this purple chest, but first, let me just make sure I can actually hit this thing and not miss and I think this should be good. Now let's just let go and boom. It just turned to gray, so now we can go up to this chest and check what's inside, and it should be crazy purple mobs, and wait, what are these things? Wait, let's take these out of the chest real quick, and it looks like we have a mob called a Charis and a Cosmic Fiend. Wait, what are these mobs? Wait, let me spot at the Charis first, and uh, what is this thing? This is just some crazy purple alien monster. It almost looks like a spider, but it has like six legs and these super sharp nails and spikes on his arms. Wait, this is actually pretty cool. Let me go and survive about near this thing and uh hello mister what are you doing why are you walking towards me like that and whoa it just dropped a bomb on me and i just blew up okay this guy is clearly a lot more powerful than he seems but i think that means we have to test our other purple mob and wait what kind of mob is this gonna be i guess let me just spot it right here and oh my gosh this is the cosmic fiend i just realized that i knew the name of it but i forgot that the cosmic fiend is this mob this is literally the most powerful mob in minecraft well 
one of them at least. And it is super purple and blue and super OP. I mean, just look at it. It's literally massive. Its eye is literally probably bigger than my entire body. Now that is cool. And there is almost a 0% chance this cosmic feed isn't gonna let me win the mob battle. So I'm just gonna go around and spawn in a couple more of these Charis alien mobs. And hopefully my cosmic feed won't attack these guys. So let's just go like this and spawn one more right here. And look, we got like five of these crazy alien spiders and one giant cosmic fiend. And anyway, Smirky, how is your army going right now? Oh, wait, I think my mobs despawned, Cory. Okay, I'm gonna have to respawn in my mobs. Wait, Smirky, don't spawn in your mobs because I think my cosmic fiend is gonna attack them. Your, your co cosmic fiend, Cory? I'm not scared of that. And wait, Smirky, it's coming towards the wall and Smirky, I think my cosmic fiend's attacking your mobs. What the heck? You're right. And I think it's killing my mobs pretty quickly. Yeah, Smirky, it definitely isn't. Look at the crazy explosions and the land that my cosmic fiend is eating right now. Oh my gosh, you're right. And it's killing all my mobs. I don't know how my hoglins are still alive. Smirky, this is so sad. You should have not chose the pink on the roulette wheel. Pink sucks. Oh, it doesn't actually. Yeah, I'm Smirky, because look at your mobs. They're just getting annihilated. You should have chose purple like me. Oh my gosh, I probably should have. Maybe I just aimed wrong. Yes, you definitely are, Smirky. And I think all of your mobs fell off. Look at that. And all of my mobs are still on the arena. And that means purple just won that round of the mob battle. I can't believe it, Cardi. Well, that's pretty sad for you. And look at all this purple attacks. Okay, let's get rid of these. And anyway, Smirky, next round is actually going to be the last round we're going to do. So that means if you don't win, I'm going to completely win the mob battle. The last round? What? That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to win because I know what color I'm going to do. All right, Smirky, let's reset the arena. And boom, now we are finally on the final round of the mob battle. And I am super excited for this final round because this is the craziest round yet. We have some crazy mobs left on the roulette wheel and I cannot wait to see which kind of counters I'm going to have to do. But anyways, let's just look at Smirky and what color is he aiming at this time. It looks like he might be looking at the green on the roulette wheel. Wait, green is my color. No way, Smirky. He's trying to shoot my color. That is so messed up. And wait. And oh my gosh, look at all these green mobs that just spawned in. It looks like there's a massive tall green creeper right there. A giant big creeper right there. And then there's a giant green earth dinosaur right in the middle. Well, all of these monsters are super duper cool looking. But there's one thing about them all that actually means that I could counter them perfectly. Since this guy in the middle is a green grass dinosaur, if I get a fire mob, I could probably burn him to death. And then since both of the other mobs are creepers, if they're set on fire, they will literally just blow up and that means it'll be an easy win for me. So anyways, let's just go see what color I actually have to choose. And it looks like Smirky chose the green one, so I'm gonna have to choose orange. And that actually confirms my theory because orange is a color of fire, so that probably means I'm about to get some fire mobs. So let's get down here with our bow and we gotta shoot the orange one right. So let me just aim at this thing. Here we go, and there we go. We hit it. It just turned gray, and that means we can go loot the chest. And what's gonna be inside here? And wait, what the heck? There's a subscribe button right above the chest. I think this has to be a sign, and I want all of you guys to subscribe right now. And once you subscribe, I'll actually look inside this chest to see what crazy OP boss we get. So please subscribe, everybody. So I'm gonna give you three seconds right now to subscribe. Ready? Three. Two, one, and thank you for subscribing. Now we can look inside of this chest and what orange mobs are we getting? And look, we got both the mobs. Wait, let me take these guys and let's head down here. So it looks like we got a mob called an electric. And this spawning is actually yellow, but it looks like there's some sort of orange stick inside of this. And look, it just has a bunch of electricity particles everywhere and this electricity ball around it. Well, that's pretty cool. But now let's go over here and spawn in a frost magma. And wait, look at this mob. This is a combination of blue and orange. That is so cool. It has a magma body and blue ice spikes all around it. Wait, let's spot in a bunch of those guys all around here. And let's spot in a bunch of the electric heads. These guys are super cool, and they should definitely win me this final round of the mob battle. And anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Oh my gosh, I think my mob's just spawned once again. Wait, so Smirky, so you're gonna have to spawn them in? Uh, yeah, I will have to spawn them in. And wait, you're spawning them 
them in, Smirk, and I think my mobs are trying to attack them through the wall. They're literally spawning in lightning. Wait, how are they dropping ice spikes in? I think they killed a few already, okay? I need to spawn some more then. Wait, I'm gonna have to make a big hole in the wall so my mobs can go through and attack your mobs. And there we go. The battle's beginning. Let's go, and you are about to lose, Cardi. Uh, what do you mean I'm about to lose, Smirk? It looks like you're about to lose because there's literally fire tornadoes killing your mobs. Wait, you're right about that. Look how much fire there was. But wait, look at the boss bars. Your mobs are losing so much health. Yeah, Smirky, but I think all your mobs are dead besides a few dinosaurs. So who's the real one losing here? Oh, it might be me. You might be right about that. Uh-oh. And Smirky, there's only like two of your dinosaurs right there. And then one there. And I think all the rest of your mobs are dead. Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh, come on, dinosaurs. You gotta clutch up and kill like 20 mobs. And Smirky, this is literally so crazy because look everywhere. This entire arena is turning to fire, ice, and magma, and there's huge explosions. That is so cool, but it kind of sucks for my mobs because where are my mobs? Smirky, they're all dead. That's where they are. This is crazy. I just won the mob battle, I think. Don't leave, guys, because the next mob battle is gonna be even more insane. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we can switch dimensions. For example, we have these three dimension machines. So if we spotted a bunch of pigs everywhere and go to the nether machine and flip the lever, it'll turn my side of the arena into the nether and make my pigs into these zombie pigmen. This will allow us to create some super crazy custom bosses. So, Smirky, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cardi. Let's go. All right, let the battle begin. And like I said earlier, we have these crazy custom dimension machines for the nether, the end, and even a random custom dimension, which we'll make sure to use soon. But for this first round, I just want to start off with the nether dimension. So I guess let's just spot in a super basic mob like a zombie, and then I'm gonna grab this armor editor wand, and this will allow us to put this knight armor on our zombie, so we gave it a sword, a shield, and a knight helmet. So let's do that to all these zombies. And boom, here we go. We have six whole zombies with this super crazy armor. And so just like I did in the intro, I think we need to flip this nether dimension lever to turn everything into the nether and make these guys into their custom nether variant. So without further ado, let's just flip the lever in three, two, one, and here we go! And oh my gosh, I think it works! Look, everything is the nether and I wonder what those zombies turned into. And here we go and what are these things? Look, my normal zombies with shields and iron swords turned into these nether knights. And these guys have even cooler helmets, even cooler Cooler swords and even cooler shields. Okay, this just made my mob like a thousand times stronger. I am so happy we made the arena into the nether. And I wonder what kind of thing Smirky spawned in his side because I am cheating with this one-way glass. So I'll be able to spawn the exact counters in the later rounds. But what did he spawn? It looks like he made his side the nether too and he has these mutant blazes. I wonder what he spawned to get these mutant blazes. Maybe he spawned some sort of skeletons or something? And then he flipped that lever and oh my god. Gosh, these beauty blazes are pretty cool looking. But luckily for me, our mobs are definitely way stronger because with these shields, they'll be able to block every single one of the blazes' attacks. Let's go! And Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going so well, Curdy. I spotted some amazing mobs. Can you tell me what mob you started with and then what lever you flipped? Um, Curdy, I started with a skeleton and then I flicked a never lever. Wait, really, Smirky? Oh, Oh my gosh, why did you tell me that? Because now I'm pretty sure I know exactly what mob you have. Wait, you're right about that? Wait, I shouldn't have told you that's a really bad idea for me. Yeah, I bet you have muted blazes because skeletons have ranged attacks and muted blazes have ranged attacks and since it's a nether mob, that's probably what it turned into. Oh my gosh, Cardi. Well, I guess you did get it right. You know what? You can just drop the walls. Alright, my mobs are definitely gonna win. Let's drop the walls! And boom, the walls Walls have dropped! And what did you spawn, Cardi? What is this mob? This is like some nether bite. Yes, it is, Smirky. I spawned zombies with swords and shields and it made these crazy nether knights. Whoa, that is so cool. And look at their attacks. It's literally destroyed their arena. I know. And uh, wait, Smirky, where are your blazes? I just see a bunch of these blaze routes on the ground. Did they already all die that fast? I think they already died that fast. 
last Cardi. I think this is the only remainder of my blazes. No. That is so sad, Smokey. I wanted to see my guys to do more cool attacks, but I guess they already won. So I think we need to reset the arena. Yeah, I think we do too, Cardi, because it is not normal right now. Yeah, Smokey, let's reset it. And there we go. I just reset the arena. But do not leave yet, guys, because we have still yet to use all of these crazy machines. But first, this round, I actually want to see what Smirky's going to spot in before I spot in my mob. So do not worry. I'll get to these machines in a second. But let's just see what Smirky's going to spot in. And it looks like Smirky's holding a spawn again. He's standing next to the nether dimension. And it looks like he spotted just a single wolf. And he's trying to give it a bone. Okay, that is actually pretty funny. But I wonder what a wolf will turn into when he flips the nether switch. And look, he's going over to it. He's pulling it. And okay, everything turned into the nether and oh. Oh my gosh, where did that dog go though? And wait, look behind the machines. What is that thing? That dog turned into a super scary nether scourge mob. And I think it's turned around and Smirky's giving it bolts. And oh my gosh, this thing has a bunch of heads coming out of it. And I cannot see it very well, but this is going to be crazy. Okay, we need to spot in a super OP counter to help to 100% win this round of the mob battle. So let me go over to my machines. And which one should we use this time? Well, I used the nether last last time, so I don't really want to use that again. And this time, I think I'm going to use the end dimension lever. And for the mob I'm gonna spawn in, I'm just going to choose a completely random spawn egg, and I'm gonna choose this one. And wait, what did I get? Let's spawn it in. And wait a second, did I literally get earthworms? What? These are just worms. There is no way these guys are going to turn into something good. Oh my gosh, well, I did tell myself that I wanted to do this little challenge where I chose a random mob, so I guess we gotta stick with these worms. And hopefully they turn into something super OP when we pull this end dimension lever. So I guess without further ado, are you worms ready to turn into something super crazy? Let me go to this machine and I'm going to pull it in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! And oh my gosh, did this work? And yes, it did! Look at the worms. They all turned into these crazy void end worms. They're just flying in the sky. This is so insane. I didn't know these worms would turn into a boss this OP. Well, I guess that's what these dimension levers do. They can turn any normal mob into something crazy. And just look at them. I'm pretty sure these guys can literally teleport and they're all just flying away, but hopefully they'll come back before I drop the mob battle walls. And Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? Because I have something super insane. Party, if you have something insane, I'm just gonna let you know. I have something better than you, just because I spawned an insane OP boss. Smirky, there's no way you have something better than me. You probably flipped the nether switch again. Am I right about that? Uh, yeah, you're right about that one, McCarty. But it didn't make a normal nether mob like a blaze or a piglin. Oh, it did something way better. There is no way you win. There's no way I win. Okay, Smirky. You might just have to say that to my super crazy mob I have. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? I mean, I guess so. Let's drop the walls. And boom, I dropped the walls. <laughs> What is this, Cardi? This is an insane void worm. I know. Look at them. They're just flying in the sky. And wait, look. There's a ton of lightning. Smirky, I think my mobs literally have this insane lightning attack. And oh my gosh, I think your thing is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, that's why I was going to say they're insane, Cardi. How is this happening? And wait, I think your mom died, Smirky. I don't see it at all. Cardi, the only thing I see is fire. And it's not going to go out anytime soon because it's on nether blocks. No. Oh my gosh, Murky, but wait, where are my mobs? And wait a second, I think I see one over here and one over there. All of my mobs are still alive. What are they doing? Wait, they're not technically off the arena since they're in the sky. Are you kidding me? Yup, you know what that means. I just won that round of the mob battle and I think we need to just reset the arena. That's a little embarrassing for you. Oh my gosh, Cardi, you know what? Let's just reset the arena because it is a little bit embarrassing. Let's go. And here we go. We are on to the third round. This round, I am going to do the custom dimension. But first, before I do that, let's see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And wait, did he just spawn in an iron golem? Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. And I wonder which lever he's gonna pull. And wait, it looks like he might be standing next to the end dimension lever. So when he pulls that, this thing should turn into a super crazy end iron golem thing or something 
something like that. I'm not really sure. I guess we're just gonna have to see. And he's pulling the lever. And oh my gosh, everything turned into the end for him. And what is this mob? That iron golem turned into this crazy guardian monster. And look at the front of this thing. It literally has a shulker box forehead and these massive end arms. Oh, this is not gonna be easy to defeat. But lucky for me, since I know exactly what this is, I know how to exactly counter it. And for the mob, I'm gonna spawn. I'm gonna spawn an iron golem just like Smirky did. But like I said, I'm actually going to use this custom dimension. And how this thing works is you throw a random block inside of this machine. So for example, I'll throw a jungle sapling. And now when I flip this lever, it should turn this entire thing into the jungle dimension or something. I'm not really too sure how it works, but I think that would be really cool. And then this iron golem should turn into a crazy jungle dimension mob. And I guess without further ado, let's just pull this lever in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! And please tell me this works. Dan? Yes, it actually did. Look, we are in the jungle dimension now. But wait, where is my mob? There's just these leaf mobs everywhere. And wait a second, I think I see it. I think my iron golem turned into this super duper crazy wooden jungle golem. This is so insane. And look at its hand. It has this giant rock for a hand. And oh my gosh, this thing is insane. It literally has a flower on its chest. And I'm pretty sure it's spawning in all these tiny little leaf mobs too, because I do not remember spawning in anything else other than an iron golem. So since I have all these extra mobs, there is no way that these are not going to be able to defeat this ender golem. And I mean, that's not even to mention that my thing is literally three times the size of this, so I should be 100% fine. Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? Because mine is totally about to win. Yours is totally about to win? No, it is not, Cardi, because I spotted such a good starting mob, and it turned into a really good final mob. Wait, really, Smirky? Oh my gosh. Could you just tell me what dimension lever you flipped, please, Smirky? Uh, what if I told you I flipped the nether dimension? Uh, wait, you flipped the nether dimension again? Are you sure? Because I think you flipped the end dimension. Wait, how do you know, Cardi? Smirky, I can literally hear it. Uh, I just have really Get here, so I can tell which one you flip. Bro, can you hear a dimension? Y you know it, just forget it. All right, let's just drop the walls. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, then, Will, I just drop the walls and look at our mobs. They're all attacking each other. Whoa, did you do a jungle dimension, Cordy? What is this? Yup, Smirky, I flipped the custom dimension lever and it made this entire place. Whoa, that is actually so cool. But what kind of mob did you spawn in? Is that a jungle? abomination? Yes, it is, Smirky, and all of its mobs are attacking your and your guardian, and it's losing so much health. Wait, and Smirky, your thing died. Uh, oh, no, are you kidding me? How did all the small mobs kill it, and your big mob didn't kill it at all? And wait, where did my jungle abomination go? It's losing health. I think it fell in the void, Smirky, but I have all these other mobs up here, and that means I just won that round. Are you kidding me? That's insane. You know, it just reset the arena. I can't believe if I lost like that. All right, Smirky, let's reset the arena. And there we go. I just won the third round and we still have two more rounds left. And these rounds are going to be so insane because I'm going to use the custom dimension for each of them. And anyways, I guess we can just see what Smirky's gonna spot in this round. I wonder what dimension he's gonna use. And it looks like he's spotting an iron golem again. And I think he's spotting this in because last time his iron golem turned into a crazy mob. So this time he's gonna do the same thing and I'm guessing he's gonna use the custom dimension, but it looks like he's standing next to the nether dimension. What is he doing? He has already used the nether dimension two times. I guess he just loves the nether. And wait, he's flipping the lever! And boom! The nether just activated on his side of the arena, and look at his mob. That thing is actually insane! It's a massive netherite golem! But since this thing is a netherite golem, it actually is powered by lava. So if we can get a water dimension on our side of the arena, and we spawn it up bunch of water mobs, it'll force this mob to come in the water. And that is its biggest weakness, because as soon as it walks in the water, it will deactivate it and make it lose a bunch of health, and it should work just perfectly. So what I'm 
we're gonna do is I'm going to grab a water bucket like this. And just like we did last time, we need to go to this custom dimension and throw the water bucket in it like this. And boom, this thing should work as a water dimension. And I'm just gonna spawn in three completely random mobs. So I got the creeper, the zombie, and the skeleton. And let's just spawn in a few of each of these guys. And these are just all super basic Minecraft mobs, but when it turns into the ocean dimension, it should make these guys super cool. And I think this should be good. I mean, this is a lot of mobs, and they should definitely be able to destroy this netherite golem as long as they turn into something powerful. So let's go to our custom dimension lever, and let's just flip this thing in three, two, one. Let's go! And here we go. I think it worked! Everything is the ocean, and look at the mobs! I think the zombies turned into these super cool ocean gods. Look, they even have tridents on their head. I think the skeletons turned into these giant, super scary fish. Oh my gosh, these guys are big, and I think the creepers turned into these giant squid kraken mobs. Okay, this is a super crazy combination of mobs. And with this many of them, there is no way that I lose to that netherite monstrosity mob that Smirky has. Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because I think I am just completely ready to drop the walls. My mob army is going perfectly, Cardi, and I spawned in probably the best mob of this video. Wait, really, Smirky? I doubt it because I think I might have an exact counter. I have a bunch of water on my side, and you probably have a fire mob, right? Are you kidding me, Cardi? There is no way you do water as soon as I do a nether dimension. Let's go. I am so good at guessing your mob, and anyways, maybe we should drop the walls. Yeah, we probably should. And boom, the walls have dropped, and do you see my army? Let's go! What is this? These are giant squids and fishes and frogs? What? Uh, Smirky, these are not frogs. These were zombies that turned into ocean gods, and anyways, Smirky, I don't think your mob even wants to come near the water because it knows it's about to lose. There is no way my mom's about to lose. I bet he can do some attack where it literally, like, shoots uh, some attacks onto the water. It just kills everything. Come on, mob, please do that. I don't think it's gonna do that, but since it's taking so long to come over here, I'm just gonna have to pull it over myself with a giant chain, and let's just bring it in the water. Oh, no, Gurney, don't do that. You're gonna kill it. Smirky, let's go, and... Oh, my gosh, I think it instantly died the second it went in the water because the water literally just put it out and made it malfunction. Function. Party, that has to be cheating. There is no way that's allowed. What? Let's go, Smirky. I just won yet another round. I was definitely not cheating at all during that round. And maybe we should just move on to the final round. Oh, okay. If you weren't cheating, let's go. Let's go. And here we go. We are finally on the final round of the mob battle. You guys have to see this insane round. I have a crazy plan up my sleeve. But first, let's see what Smirky's gonna spot in. And wait, Smirky spotted some sort of grizzly bear mob. Wait, that's actually pretty cool. But it looks like he spotted in right next to the end dimension. There is no way Smirky does the end dimension. Because if he does that, that means he wouldn't have even used the custom dimension, which is the most OP thing. Smirky is super silly if he uses the end dimension. And wait, he's flipping the lever. And wait, that actually worked. And look at the mob he has now. That bear turned into this super crazy end bear. And this guy is massive. And look at his mouth. It has a bunch of super sharp pink teeth, and oh my gosh. Well, normally, I would be a little bit worried, but since it's the last round, I have a crazy plan on my sleeve, like I mentioned earlier. So let's go over to my dimension machines, take my villager spawn egg, and we're literally just gonna spawn in a single villager like that. Hello, Mr. Villager. And now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to pull one of all of these machines. This villager will turn into a super crazy combination of every single dimension. So let's start off with the nether dimension in 3, 2, 1, let's go! And here we go everything just turned into the nether dimension and oh my gosh look at the mob this is the same mob that smirky had last time but it is super cool and we're going to turn this into the end variant now so let's go to this end dimension lever and just flip it in three two one let's go and boom look everything is the end now and look at our mob it's even bigger and better now and i think this is its end variant look at this thing it is actually so cool but now that we have this we need to move on to the final dimension the custom dimension. And what I'm gonna throw in here 
is this block called a structure void, which is a super corrupted block in the Minecraft game files. And this is so corrupted that when I throw it in here, it should make the corrupted dimension. And I guess let's just pull this lever in three, two, one. And yes, I think it actually worked. Look at the floor. And wait, what kind of mob do I have? And wait, where's my mob? Wait, there's just a bunch of these spawn eggs on the floor. And what are these spawn eggs for? Wait a second. These are the cosmic feed spawn eggs. I think the game knows exactly what I can do to win. And it literally just gave me the most OP mob in the game, which is the cosmic fiend. I love ending every mob battle with a cosmic fiend because it is so OP. But before I spawn these guys in, I want to show you guys something super insane behind this custom dimension machine. And look at this. It's a bunch of subscribe buttons. Only about 10% of you guys are actually subscribed. And I know so many of you guys watch the videos super often and you can watch them even more as long as you subscribe. So everyone, I'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe. Three, two, one, and thank you for subscribing, guys. It means a lot. Now, let's just get back to the mob battle, and I think we can spot in these cosmic fiends. Smirky, is your mob army done? Because I just want to drop the walls right now. Yes, my mob army is completely done, and right now, I'm walking my OP boss. Wait, you're walking OP boss? Okay, Smirky, let's just drop these walls in three, two, one, and okay, I'm just gonna spot in my mob now. What is this? Uh oh this is not good. Okay, I need to bring my mob up into the air so we can fight them. Oh my gosh, Merc, you're literally pulling your mob around and trying to make it fight my mobs, but I don't think it's working really well. Oh, uh, yeah, it should be working because look how much damage it's doing. Smirky, your thing is not doing any damage. All my mobs are just fighting each other, and I think your mob literally just died. Its items are dropping on the floor, and my cosmic fiends are all still alive. No, it dropped its leash on the floor, Cardi. Oh my gosh, that is so sad, but you know what that means? I just won the mob battle. Yeah, I know. That's what it means. I can't believe it. Every round you add like a counter or just a better mob. Guys, do not leave yet because there is still one more insane mob battle left. And this one is honestly the best. So let's go. Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But any mob we draw turns to life. For example, if I go to my canvas and I draw a tiny little baby ender dragon and then go to this lever and pull it like this, it'll spawn that exact mob in. Look, it's a tiny little baby ender dragon. We'll be able to draw literally any mob, so this is going to be so insane. And of course, I'll be cheating with this one-way glass, so I can see whatever mob Smirky spots in. Anyway, Smirky, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Gordy, and I'm totally gonna draw way better mobs than you. We will see about that, Smirky. Anyways, let the battle begin! And now that the battle has officially begun, I think we should start off by cheating with this massive one-way glass wall. And this way, I'll be able to see whatever mob Smirky draws on his canvas. And then we'll be able to draw an even better mob than what he has. And wait, I think Smirky's starting to draw his thing. And wait, what is Smirky drawing? I gave him like 30 seconds and he's starting to make this gray and red monster thing. And wait a second, I think he's even drawing arms on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to see this thing when it's finished. And whoa, I think he's getting close to done because this looks like some floating skeleton god. And look, it looks super muscular and it even has an evil angry face on it. And wait, I think Smirky's finished because he's not holding his palette anymore. And wait a second. I wonder what this is going to turn into. I mean, it's kind of dark. So maybe it'll turn into some sort of skeleton king because it has little red things coming out the top. But I guess we're going to have to see and he's pulling it. And what is this thing? Look at what just spawned in. It's a massive floating wither skeleton. And it has a massive blood red sword. Okay, this thing is scary. And it looks like it even made the entire arena darker. I think the sky is a little darker than it was before Smirky flipped that lever. This thing is truly scary, and it is not going to be easy to defeat. But lucky for me, I think I know how I can defeat this thing. And I just got to get to my little canvas over here. So I got my little paintbrush palette, and I think we're just going to right-click this canvas right now. I literally kind of want to draw a massive floating flying mob just like Smirky. But for my floating flying mob, it's not just going to be an ordinary skeleton. Oh, no. No, 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 because right now I am drawing a super crazy hand monster with five fingers. Look at this thing. It is so cool looking. And now I'm literally gonna add a little wristband on 
this thing just to make it really cool and have some red. Because red will make it super evil. And I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm just gonna add some little red dots down here. And I think this is pretty cool. But then I don't just want to draw a giant flying hand monster. I also want to add a massive eye in the middle of it. And whoa, this thing is gonna look super duper cool. And I think I might even make the eye a little bit red just in that middle. And whoa, okay. This thing has got to be like super cursed or something. Because look at this hand monster. That is a scary piece of artwork. But remember, guys, we're trying to draw something that can defeat that massive floating wither skeleton King Smirky has. And I think this hand monster should definitely do the trick. And I think we need to just get next to this lever and pull the lever. So, Mr. Painting, you really, really need to turn into a crazy monster. And I think you should. So, let's flip the lever in three, two, one, and here we go. And, uh, I think it might have worked. Because look at this. This is the back of the hand. But wait, I gotta see the front of it. Is the eye that I drew gonna be here? And yes, the eye that I drew is definitely here. And whoa, this is even cooler than the drawing. Like, look, it has those little red dots at the bottom like I drew. And even has some red lines. But then it also added these red lines on the palm next to the eye. This thing is super cool. I am so happy that we got a mob this powerful. And look, let's just give it a little high five. And uh-oh, I just punched its eye. Mr. End Monster, I'm sorry for punching her. I don't get mad at me. But I think we should be good. And I bet this guy has some insane attacks where he can literally turn into a fist and fly around and just do cool stuff. So we're gonna have to wait till the mob battle to see this insane fight take place. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going super duper 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 good. What kind of mob did you draw? Could you please give me a hint? Uh, well, I drew a really buff, like, skeleton kind of thing and it made it into a king. Wait, really? That's super cool. Well, I drew, like, some sort of hand monster and it's flying and I know that doesn't sound that good, but you're just gonna have to wait and see this thing. All right, Cardi. Well, I am ready to see it whenever you're ready to drop the walls. Well, Smirky, I'm ready to drop the wall, so let's drop him in three, two, one, and here we go, and whoa! Let's go! And what is this, Cardi? Is this literally a hand? Okay, my king has like two hands, Cardi. You're gonna lose. Smirky, are you sure about that? Because my hand's turning into a fist and flying and bashing into your monster. Well, how is it my monster doing? damage to it. I think it's because my hand is so strong and it can only take damage if it gets hit in the eye in the middle of it. What? No, that has to be cheating. Cardi, I'm gonna go punch it in its eye. Smart Cat's not gonna do anything because my guy's just comboing your guy. He cannot even do anything to defend himself. What? But look at my mom. Did you see that flamethrower attack he just had? I know. I saw that, Smirky, but I'm pretty sure my hand is made out of fire because he cannot take damage and whoa, it just knocked your guy off the map. There's no way it just pushed it off the map and it's probably dead down there anyways. Yeah, Smirky, I think it's definitely dead. And look, the sky is clearing up in my hand. Monster was victorious. What? I'm gonna punch it in its eyes some more. Stop, Smirky. Okay, let's reset the arena. Let's go. And boom, I just won the first round. But guys, don't leave because that was literally the first round. We have some insane mobs that we need to draw with our canvases. But before we draw our mob, we need to check on Smirky's mob. And what is he drawing? It looks like he's drawing some sort of pink X and then some squares around it. Okay, let's just wait a second to see what this turns into. And wait, what is this turning into? I think that X turned into some sort of body. And look, there's like little skeleton heads coming out of it or something like that. That is super duper weird. But is he gonna try anything else? And whoa, look at this. I think he drew like four blue arms coming out of it. And this thing is super spooky. But this is probably gonna turn into a really cool boss because this canvas mod has a really good AI and it can detect any cool mob. But let's see what this is gonna turn into. And he's pulling the lever. And oh my gosh, that actually worked. This is like actually a crazy skeleton monster. And it looks like there's even a bunch of skeleton skulls in his body just like his drawing has. And look, there's definitely those four blue arms coming out of it. Because this thing has four arms and some super sharp fingers. Oh my gosh. This thing is gonna have insane attacks. I already know it. And that means we're going to need to draw something that can count to this guy exactly. And I'm happy that we have this one-way glass wall because this gives me a perfect idea. So let's go over to our canvas and right-click it. And now we are going to draw a mob just like Smurky.
Smirkies. And if you're wondering what I mean by just like Smirkies, well, I'm gonna draw a mod that has a bunch of skeleton skulls all around it, just like he did. But mine's not just gonna be a tiny little skeleton with four arms. It's gonna be a massive skeleton knight. And I'm just gonna have to show you guys. Let me just draw this real quick. I'm just drawing a bunch of circles. And then I'm gonna go in and draw some little faces on each of them. And there we go. And now I'm just gonna draw some massive knight legs like this. Add some arms just like this. And then we'll draw a little head just like this. And then I'm gonna add some horns coming out of it just to make it look even cooler. And then we're just gonna add some color variations on this thing just to make it a little bit more powerful. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. And as you can see, I added a little bit of pink on its arms and I added a giant red cape. And now we're just gonna draw a giant black hammer just to make this guy have some really cool attacks. And okay, hopefully the drawing mod will pick this up as a hammer because this doesn't really look like a hammer. But then let's just add a little bit of blue here and I think this should be good. Look at this drawing. It is so cool. And it should be the perfect counter for Smirky's mob. And I cannot wait to see this thing turn into the mob. So let's just do this in three, two, one, and let's pull the lever. And I think it might work because look at this mob. This is insane. This thing is exactly what I wanted, but even cooler. Because look, it's a, it has these giant night legs, a giant red cape, all these skeleton souls on its body, and the massive giant black hammer. I could not have wished for a better mob than this, and I'm so happy that I got this thing. And normally, I would like to test this guy's attacks, but since he is just so much bigger and better than this mob smirk he has, I think we should be good. And look, there's even some sort of, like, soul heart thing inside of it. I don't even know what that is, but that probably just means it's even more powerful than I think. Anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because I think I might have drawn a way better mob than yours. Courtney, there is a 0% chance that you drew a better mob than me. I'm just gonna let you know that. What, what do you mean? A 0% chance, Smirky? I'm looking at your drawing right now, and compared to mine, it is so trash. Courtney, how are you even looking at my drawing? Do you not see the giant, like, bedrock wall here? Oh, I forgot about the bedrock wall, and yes, Smirky, I was just kidding about seeing your drawing. Obviously, I can't see your drawing through the bedrock wall. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I'm ready to drop the walls. Are you? Yes, I am. Let's drop them in three, two, one, and let the battle begin. And, oh, Smirky, I think your mom's already about to die because look at my thing. What is this guy? This kind of looks like my mom, but a little bit better, but not a lot of bit better. It looks kind of trash, to be honest. You think this looks trash because he literally just summoned in minions that are literally healing him, I think. What? Get those minions out of here. This is so crazy. And look, he is just slowly stopping over to your mom. And oh, he's gonna do an attack. And what? Wait, did it kill it in one hit? What What just happened? <laughs> what, Smirky? That was insane. And look at my guy. He's just bashing his hammer against the floor. He just killed his own minions. Why did he kill his own minions? You know what, Cardi? I have an idea. What's your idea, Smirky? I think I need to put a stop to this guy myself. Wait, you're gonna try and fight him, Smirky? Yep, I'm gonna go and kill him. Smirky, you're gonna destroy it. I can barely see anything, but oh my gosh, he just died. What? Are you kidding me? Let's just reset the arena, and I just won the second round. Let's go. All right, Cardi. And boom, I just won a round. And that was so cool. My mob was insane during that round, but I'm just gonna draw even better mobs as the video goes on. And before I draw my next mob, let's see what Smirky's gonna draw. And look, Smirky's starting to draw his mob, and it looks like it's a little brown circle thing there, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait till he is completely done with it. And after a little while, it looks like that circle thing turned into some hooded monster and he even added some red eyes on this thing. But wait, this is kind of trash. Is he gonna draw anything else on this? And it looks like he might be starting to draw some sort of sword. And wait a second, that sword is massive. He's giving this tiny little skeleton guy a massive giant black sword. And whoa, this thing is probably gonna be really powerful. But I guess he's done because he's not painting anymore. And I think he's gonna start pulling that lever. And he's pulling it. And what on earth is that thing? I guess it actually worked. It just spotted a little skeleton hooded monster with a massive sword. And look, it's even glowing red. That is pretty cool. But wait, Smirky's going back to the lever and he's pulling it even more. And oh my gosh, it has flipped it more times and even more of them spotted. Some of them have massive scythes now. I don't even know how these guys have scythes because he didn't even draw that. I guess these guys are just super crazy. And okay, these are gonna be hard to defeat with their massive weapons. But I think I know exactly what I want to draw to counter these guys. 
So let's head over to our canvas and right click this thing. And now what I want to draw is actually a super giant crazy plant monster. And so right there, I just drew a little bit of a stem. And then right now I'm adding these massive pink petals to do the base of the flower. A little yellow thing in the middle to act as its little pollen area. And then what I want to start doing is adding massive spikes all around this flower. And what these spikes are going to allow it to do is make sure that no mobs can get near it at all. Because it's just going to spike them all if they get too close. So I'm going to add literally massive spikes everywhere. Like I am not going to go underkill with these spikes. I'm going to go extremely overkill. And here we go. There are so many spikes all over this thing. And I think this is pretty cool. I guess the drawing isn't that good because the flower looks a little bit deformed. But it should be good enough for the mod to pick it up and understand exactly what I drew and spot a crazy OP boss. So let's just flip this lever and three two, one, and here we go. And I think it might have worked because look at these spikes. I haven't even looked up at the top of the flower, but this thing is already insane. But now let's just look up and whoa. This thing is so cool and look, it has the pink petals just like I drew. Now this thing is absolutely insane and there is no way that this thing doesn't have OP attacks. Like, wait, I actually have to test this out. I'm gonna go in survival mode near this thing and uh, hello, Mr. Flower. I mean, it's looking everywhere I go and wait, why is it going Going underground and why right, it's shooting up massive spikes out the floor oh my gosh this thing is insane hey stop trying to kill me mr flower and wait what's it doing now it's doing more spike attacks oh my gosh there's so many spikes i gotta go in grand mode before i die and okay i don't think we even need to worry about spawning in any more than a single one of these flowers this should definitely be enough to kill all of these things smirky has and smirky how is your army going this round my army is going super duper duper good i made my my mobs have some really cool weapons. Oh, you made your mobs have really cool weapons? Are they, like, super big or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're pretty tall, Cardi. I think they're literally as tall as yourself. Wait, really, Smarky? Let me take a guess at what kind of weapons your mobs have. I bet they have massive swords and massive scythes. Wait, how do you know? Uh, there's literally so many mobs that have massive weapons, Cardi. Well, Smarky, your mobs are glowing, and that's how I knew, actually. What? Are you kidding me? That's how you know, because they're glowing. Yeah. Yep, I can literally see they're glowing through blocks, and that means I can see them through this bedrock wall. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I should have got rid of their effects. <laughs> Smirky, let's just drop the walls in three, two, one, and here we go. And do you see this crazy boss I have? What is this? Cardi, wait, what is this, Cardi? This is literally a flower. I know, this is just a flower, Smirky, but look, all your mobs are trying to attack it, and look, the spikes are just pricking them to death. What? Wait, so do you to go destroy these. Oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of them. Hey, Smarky, you can't destroy these. That's cheating. But anyways, it doesn't really matter because I think all of your mobs are already destroyed. Are you kidding me, Cardi? There is no way you won that easily. Well, Smarky, just take a look for yourself. I definitely did win that easily because my mob is still standing here and I think we need to reset the arena. Yeah, I think we need to reset the arena as well. Let's go. And I just won yet another round and I can't wait for these final two rounds because things are just about to get super, super crazy. But anyways, let's see what Smarky's gonna draw, and I think he's already drawing his mob. Because look, he has some sort of brown belt thing there. And look, he's adding a little bit of green to it, so I think we're just gonna have to wait a second to see what this turns into. And look at this thing! It's turning into some sort of troll monster, and it's like has these massive green legs and this massive green stomach! And look, I think he's adding a head to it now because he just made a little face on it, and he's adding little teeth to it. And wait, I think Smirky's done with it because now he's not painting anymore and I think he's gonna pull that lever. And oh my gosh, look at these things. There's like a thousand of them. This is not good for me at all because some of these guys are super big and some of them are really small. Look at those. These are so cool though. I mean, they have these massive teeth and they look kind of goofy, but I bet they're really, really strong because Smirky drew some really big muscles on them. So we're gonna need some sort of magic skeleton monster to kill all of these guys. So that's exactly what I'm gonna draw. So let's just go over to our little handy canvas right here and click this. And now I'm just gonna start off by drawing this little skeleton. So let's give him some arms and we're gonna make this guy a wither skeleton just so he's even more powerful. And then we're gonna go down and add the body and then 
and we'll add a little skeleton rib cage. Just like that. I think that's good. And then let's add a little skeleton head to this guy. And we want to make this a king skeleton. So we're going to give him a little blue crown just like this. I think that's pretty cool looking. And now we're just going to give this guy a little skeleton face like this. And now he doesn't really look cool enough. So I think I got to add a giant staff to him and make this thing super cool. Add a little box like that. And then we need to give this guy some giant red robes. And this is just going to make him even more powerful because super powerful people wear red robes. So let's add these like this and then add a little bit of a cape to him. And okay, I kind of just covered him entirely in red, but this should make him really, really cool looking. I think we just got to flip this lever and see what this turns into. So let's flip this in three, two, one, and here we go. And oh my gosh, what is this thing? This is not what I was expecting to spawn in, but look at the floor. It's making the entire grass into this withered grass block stuff, and it's literally making smoke come out of it. What are you doing, mister? Is everywhere it walks, it turns this grass into purple for some reason. I don't know why that's happening or why this thing is super scary looking, but he should definitely be very, very, very powerful in battle against all of these trolls. Anyway, Smirky, I don't really think you're ready for this round because I have an insane boss. Cordy, I don't think you're ready for this round because I have an even better mob and I have a lot of mobs. Uh, Smirky, I don't think your mob is gonna win if I'm being honest with you. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Yeah, they're definitely gonna win, Cordy. They are super duper good and super duper green. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait for the mob battle to see who's actually gonna win and let's drop the walls in three, two, one. And here we go. And oh my gosh, Smirky. What is this? Okay, I'm probably gonna lose. What are these attacks I can do? And my guys aren't doing any damage. I know. And look at my guys just teleporting around and throwing crazy attacks at your mobs. What? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's only a matter of time before they all die. And there's other stuff like witches and wither skeletons alive too. Yeah, I think my boss has crazy attacks where he can spot in more mobs. Like there's a brown mushroom cow here. I don't even know what's going on, Smirky. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, Cardi. There is no way I'm about to lose. I have like 50 mobs. Smirky, there's even lightning attacks. It's so much stuff happening. He's just waving his wand around and winning this battle completely. Yeah, you're right about that. Are any of my guys even alive except like the one guy all the way over here? Yeah, this is the only one left, I think. And oh my gosh. And yeah, I think my guy is completely fine. And I think it just killed all your stuff. Are you kidding me? There is no way. Well, Smirky, I think there is a way. And I think we need to move on to the final round of the mob battle. All right. Well, I'm going to bring it back and I am definitely going to win. I guess we'll see about that. Let's reset the arena. And here we go. We are on the last round of the mob battle. And I am super excited for this round because I have one of my favorite mobs ever. I'm going to draw. But anyways, it looks like Smirky's drawing his mob. And while he's drawing this, I'm actually going to draw my mob. And then when I'm done, drawing my mob, we'll check in with each other and see who has the better drawing, and then we'll flip our levers. But for the mob I want to draw, I'm going to do a super duper crazy blackstone golem. So I'm going to add some black arms like this, and then a giant black body. And then let me add some black legs, and then another arm. And this guy is literally made out of blackstone, so that means he is super powerful. So let's add a little head on this guy, and then we'll add a villager nose, add some eyes like this, and now we need to add some texture to this guy. So we're going to add little lava lines going all around his body. Just like this. And I think this is going to be really, really cool when we spot this thing in. Because it'll be an iron golem with a bunch of fire attacks. Let's add some fire all around it just to make sure this mod knows exactly what I'm trying to draw. Alright, I think this is pretty cool and I think we are done with this drawing. And okay, this looks kind of trash now that I'm looking at it. But it should be really, really cool. But for this final round, I also want to draw something else and this is going to be super crazy. So let me get this other canvas open. And I'm actually going to draw one of the most insane things ever. And you guys are about to be really surprised. And as you can see, I made a giant red thing. And now I need to add the finishing touches. And I think I'm done drawing it. I just drew a subscribe button. And this is definitely a sign, guys. You all need to subscribe to the channel right now. Please subscribe. A lot of you guys watch all the videos, but you're not subscribed. So please subscribe. I'll give you three seconds. And at the end of the countdown.
countdown, you need to subscribe. So get ready. Three, two, one, and thank you for subscribing. And anyways, let's see what Smurky has drawn and what on earth is this thing. This is like a crazy piglin monster with brown pants. I don't even know what this thing is, but I think he's pulling the lever. And what on earth are these things? He spotted a bunch of piglin monsters. These things are super cool mutant piglins. And I think we need to pull our lever for our mob now. And I really hope this turns into something cool. So let's pull this right now. And oh my gosh, look at this thing. It did exactly what I drew, but made it even cooler. And okay, I think we're definitely gonna win because look at this guy compared to Smirky's mobs. And okay, we might have to pull this lever a few more times because I just realized Smirky has a bunch of mobs. Let's flip this lever like 10 more times. So let's go. And look, we got like 10 of these black stone golems. And ah, uh, Smirky, I don't think you're gonna win. Are you ready to drop the walls though? Yes, I am. Let's go. Oh. All right, let's go and look. Our mobs are gonna start fighting now. Whoa, what is this? Are these black stone mobs? Yes, they are. They're black stone golems and they have crazy fire going across their entire body and they're just throwing your piglins around. Oh my gosh, and almost all of them are gone. Cardi, what is happening? This is really sad for you. I think this is gonna be one of the easiest wins ever for me. And there we go. That was the easiest round ever and I just won the final round. Oh my my gosh, Cardi, how did you win like every round? And how did you draw a way better mob? You literally put a sub button here. People should probably do that, right? Yeah, they should do that. But I actually do have something to admit to you, Smirky. Oh, what is it? You see this block I'm holding? Well, this is actually one way bedrock glass block. Whoa, that's actually so cool. Wait, Cardi, that means on your side, it was glass. And on my side, it was bedrock. Yup, it definitely was, Smirky. And I'm sorry for cheating, but I'll give you the win as long as you forgive me. All right, Cardi, I forgive you. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. And please subscribe and click the video on the screen. Bye.